Shalom, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakahakwadash. Double honor to the elders of the Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Shalom, La Bukaryam, Shah, Yasha, Allah's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, predestined, ordained to be saved in these last days. The kingdom of heaven is on its way. Akim, Akwaf, the kingdom of heaven. Is on its way. We're looking at the destruction of Babylon directly in the face. We're looking eye to eye at the destruction of what you call America the Great. Make America great again, right? It ain't gonna happen. We in the time of total collapse. Now, what you're looking at right now, this is um, this is uh. Black Scout survival. As you can see, America is under attack. You know, um, he runs the channel. This is a guy, he sells, he sells uh, technical gear. You know, night vision, bulletproof vests, certain silencers and scopes that you can't get, you know. <clears throat> he may be connected to even the FBI or the CIA. But these will be considered austere men for this time. You know, men that's going to make it a lot further than these Babylonians. That's for sure. But I want you to pay attention to um, the lingo, the conversation, because this is what's going on. While the majority of people are enjoying their Friday, waiting to go into Saturday, not paying attention up under their woman's ass. America is preparing for a black swan event. You had a lot of uh, FBI warnings come out about a terror attack higher than the proportions of 9-11. You know, you got, um, hold on, let me just say this here. You got Biden, who's about to sign this right here, this, this, uh, this deal, this is for the climate energy declaration which is going to bring in the cbdc now you look at the the day that was two days ago and he's about to declare right look at this the government is gearing up to declare a climate energy right white house considering National Climate Energy Declaration. Green calls for Biden. As you see it. And I'm going to read all the, uh, do this here. But this is about to be called. Which is going to bring forth those. Uh, the 15 minute cities. The lockdown is about to start. And Jake out here bullshitting. This is uh, a climate emergency declaration a declaration a climate emergency declaration is an action taken by the government and scientists to acknowledge humanity is in a climate crisis which is going to basically uh <clears throat> monitor your movements like they're doing in china it's going to censor you bringing in second address 15 a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able but uh, let me let me get this here it says once a government makes a declaration, the next step for the declaring government is to set priorities to mitigate climate change prior to ultimate, ultimately entering a state of emergency for um, equi equivalent. Now, when you go into this here, migrant climate exchange right climate exchange migration <clears throat> is an action to limit greenhouse gases in the atmosphere that causes climate change greenhouse gases emissions are primarily caused by people burning fossil fuel such as coal oil and natural gas that's basically your functionings for going out this Friday night. 
You know, for you revving up your car, going into that club, listening to that DJ, ordering your drinks. This is the, you need this right here, right? It says, um, it says phases out fossil fuel use can happen. Uh, conserving, conserving energy and replacing fossil fuels with clean energy sources such as wind, uh, hyper, uh, solar, nuclear power, secondary, blah, 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 blah. But when you go here, removing carbon dioxide. So this is the bill that's going to be pushed this June, removing carbon dioxide. And it's the point. It's the process of storing carbon in a carbon pool. It's play, it plays a crucial role in migrating climate change by reducing the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. There are two main types of carbon sequations, biologic, also called, and you gotta excuse me with these. <laughs> it's, it's real noisy right now, these terms out here. Bios equation and geologic, <clears throat> basically limiting the foods you cook, the foods you order, the amount of movement, the amount of sex, the amount of bike riding, the amount of walking, the amount of jogging, parades, concerts, marches, protests, elections. So all this is, is, is coming on the hill of Babylon the Great falling apart. But I want you just to listen to what these these, these will be considered austere men for Babylon. Listen what they got to say. Because the majority of the American population is overnourished right now. Let me uh, get, get this scripture here. This is um this is this is Revelations. Yeah, that's, this, this is definitely what's happening. This is Revelations. Uh, let's see here. Revelations 12, verse 14. Okay. And to the woman were given two wings. That woman is the nation of Israel. And that two wings represent an escape or movement of a great eagle. That she might fly into the wilderness, which was uh, at the 70 AD, those seven weeks, which represented those seven years of persecution around the uh, time of um, Titus, Vespasian, Alexander Tiberius, you know, those that know, know you know, the, the, the rest of the three tribes flee into... Um, into the land of Ham, also up into the land of, of, of Japheth on an escape route, you know, to end up, the bulk of us ended up in West Africa because the prophecy of the slave ships had to take place from that area. So it says that they might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished now, her place, because after the West Coast of Africa, her place was America. But it wasn't called America. Azeroth. Place where never man dwelt. Where all the 12 tribes will suffer. Jeremiah 50 and 33. But now that we came out of that, you know, you're looking at the, uh, the 12 tribes today that's here. Now that we've come out of that hardcore persecution, it says where she is nourished now, the tribes are being nourished, which you're being fed. You're fat. You're greasy, man. Uh, Jerusalem wax fat and kick. You know? And the average American, that's including you so-called Negroes and Hispanics, you spoil you, man. That's why this Jacob Trouble is going to be so sticky and greasy. 
because you, you, you spoil you. This is the only place where a poor man has a belly. Look, I'm down here at a, a Dollar Tree right now, as you can see, waiting for my, uh, my woman to come out. On my way down here, you know, we get stopped in traffic. Homeless woman, Edomite, at least the, from the uh, initial assessment, right? She, ah, uh, that's a lot. She asks for some uh, some monetary funds, you know, some some help, some substance. Famous Richard confronts so, him for being an atheist. And you know, spirit on me, I go in my pocket. To give this well, woman something, like right? Before, you you know, now my right. wife said, no, I don't give her nothing. It's an eat of my blah, 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 blah. And I understand. You know, I give, go in my wallet. I give her $2. <clears throat> you know, and she sees a five. So, you know what this demon said? Give me that five. And she's looking in my truck. Give me that five. And then my wife said, you, I knew. That. And I said, you. But everything is, you know, it's set <laughs> for a reason. So I gave her $2, say, okay, move along, and I, and I left. But this is the place, America the Great, man. Look at this. <laughs> Dollar Tree, man. Where you overnourished, so this thing is going to hit hard. So a lot of Americans don't even see the fall of our civilization because they're so used to They still can watch their favorite teams on, on a Saturday or, or Sunday. They still go get their Starbucks, you know, they're, they're going to Friday night uh, football games at high school. They're not seeing or they're not paying attention or aware because it's such a slow boil. Don't you agree with that, John? Yeah, it's, it's pacification through chemicals in your water, um, amusement, entertainment, right? We are, we are just very comfortable. Bread and circuses. You hear what he said? Chemicals in your water, man. They're not just putting it in your waters, in your food, everything. You know, you got seven parts of every kingdom you know you're gonna look that up the seven parts to a kingdom before the collapse you know the major kingdoms got a 250 year reign and right now you're in the decadence of america and the decadence of a kingdom happens meaning when people lose morale and they all be worrying about bread and circus that happens right before the collapse never experienced a situation where they walk out of their front door and something will pounce on them. We don't have to go and gather water and then spend 50% of our energy to make that water clean enough that we can drink it without it actually killing us. And as long as they can keep us pacified, and they've done a very good job about dividing us further and further and further. Like the guy that you're worried about, the bump stock or whatever, it's a dude that looks just like you. He has the same things in common. He's got the same stickers on his truck even. Yeah, I love when you said that the other other week, man. Uh, you comment on my video saying that about the same dude hating on you is the same guy that has uh, uh, the same stickers, and he's he's in your click. I remember now. Nah, see, that's the point ago. right there <clears throat> that I want to get to. As I was watching this video earlier, you know, because um, you know these are like prime candidates for that movie Civil War. You know, he's laced up military. He's laced up military, man. You got some serious dudes out here right now. You know, carnally. You know, that can take down, I mean, hundreds of people, just one or two of them. And you're looking at them. These are, these are serious dudes. They really fully equipped for what's about to happen. And they're sitting in the cut and they're prepared. And like he said, the ones that's watching them is, is those of their own clique. Which brings me to Isaiah 19 and, and verse 2. It says, and I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. Shit, these two may go end up going head to head for survival. Because when it comes to survival and eating and feeding your family, it's every man for themselves. And that's what these people about to go into. And Jake, Jake not used to that. Jake not used to that. These women not ready for that. Um, because I'm a big watch guy and I think you're going over your watches, your vehicles and stuff. And you were saying that, and you went over your knife collection and things. And you were saying the same guys that hate me and that are, that are bashing me are the same guys that are into the same things I'm into. And they know that um, this, this is, this is more confusing. That's why we live by hope. So while they bugging out, we standing on, you know, Isaiah 33 and six. Now as a wisdom should be the stability of thy time.
You understand? They just trying to make it out of this and hope America put itself back together. But you don't know, like, this thing is going to be wow. And Akim, you know, they got the faith, the hope right now in the kingdom of heaven. Our Lord Yahweh Shah showing himself to understand the prophecies. We're in a very, very privileged position. We're in an extremely privileged position. Because these people, you know, they, they looking at the current events. They see the signs of the time. Everybody ain't walking around here stupid. There's an old saying, you might fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all of the people all of the time. And these are people that set up by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that's going to bring a lot of ruckus during Jacob's trouble, man. Once again, this is Isaiah 19, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, and they shall fight one, every one against his brother. And everyone against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom, man. And these Edomites, they about to throw down against each other, man. You heard what he just said. When you said that the other, other week, man, uh, you commented on my video saying that about the same dude hating on you is the same guy that has uh, uh, the same stickers. And he's, he's in your clique. I remember a video you did years ago. Um because I'm a big watch guy and I think you were going over your watches and your vehicles and stuff and you were saying that and you went over your knife collection and things and you were saying the same guys that hate me and that are that are bashing me are the same guys that are into the same things I'm into um and and you know I, I love the video because your watch collection but I, I just thought also that you spoke a lot of truth in that video man you know and and it probably way before it's time to be honest with you I think you probably saw what was coming well before anybody else um, you know, because you were experiencing early on, you know, and, and the same people that will turn you into the feds, the same people that will uh, stab you in the back are the same people that vote the same way you do. And that's why we're losing a, a, a lot of times, you know. And that's uh, Matthew 12 and 25. Is Satan be divided against itself? How can he stand? Also, there's a lot of players <clears throat> in the game. A lot of people want to say China or, you know, Soros, I think it's many different things, uh, many different people that want the same result and the same result is destroying America. They're not working cohesively, but they are destroying America. They're all working towards that end, end goal. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, to have a one world government, you have to get rid of, you know, China, India and, you know, all the rest of them. But more importantly, you have to get rid of the United States. Like, yeah. where is that government head going to be? Oh, you heard what and he I just said. No matter... Which, you know, the, the, that the whore must fall. You know, the whore that sitteth upon the beast that sitteth upon many waters, you know, she must fall. So they all know that you got to get rid of this place. Let's listen to that again. Let's listen to that again. And, you know, all the rest of them. But more importantly, you have to get rid of the United States. Like, yeah. where is that government head going to be? And I think no matter which way you vote, you have to agree that the, the United States is being torn up from the inside. Like, things are not as good now as they were. They are not as simple as That's they that were. Egyptian once again. Y'all got to listen clear, man. All these prophecies, and, 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 and these prophecies are not to be just ran over. Like, okay, prophecy fulfilled. No, the Lord is, he's, he's savoring this moment, man. This is a serious moment. Nobody sticking together in this place. That's why you gotta watch. You you stay with the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You you gotta be untrustworthy to these people in Babylon right now, man. It's a serious business. A lot more song and dance and theatrics to maintain that same baseline. I mean, there's a there's an attack on your ability to simply garden and produce your own meat at this point. Yeah. Like, if you're in the city, man, you guys get out of the city. I know we say that all the time. I left California 20 years ago, and I'm on a, a small homestead in the most impoverished county of all of Tennessee. But life is great here. Like, any of the stuff that happened in the last four years, none of it happened where we are. Mm -hmm. You know, I love Reddit because I'm old, and it's like the original type of platform, you know. And I saw this dude post the other day. He said, "Check this out." That his HOA sent out a letter because apparently he was grilling or something, and some <laughs> of the vegans in the neighborhood were complaining that we're going on jogs. They smelled the meat cooking. 
Look at this. Like this is how divided these people are right now. You got some vegans jogging through the neighborhood and they smelt somebody grilling meat and they complain to the authority. So look, man, we at the decadence of this empire. We here. We here. I'm going to just read this through real quick. Ah. Mm. It's like it, man. I got to get more. <laughs> get better with these these videos, man. It's like it. This is, uh, once again, Isaiah 19, verse 2. But you get the scriptures. You know, I know I'm all over the place dropping the phone. <laughs> you know, but 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 listen listen to the message, man. This, this thing about the pop. It says, uh, once again, Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. And they shall fight everyone against his brother. And everyone against his neighbor. City against city. Kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. And I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to their idols, to their charmers, and to their familiar spirits, and to their wizards. So that's what, this is what's going on. And you know, you know, what the Lord do for Moses? When he sent Moses, they went to their magicians and Moses confounded them. So we're in a serious time. I was just watching this one to say a few words on it, man. Listen. These Edomites that look like they're together, they are not together. They are not together. And forget about it with Jake. Jake coming with that old phony unity shit, man. Jake, Jake ain't together at all. And these women, <laughs> forget about it. They hate each other. And a real scheming and treachery is about to come out. The Lord about to send a sick, psycho spirit. The love of many shall wax cold. That word cold in Greek is psycho. A psycho spirit is about to run through this page, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakahakwatash. Double honor to the elders of the Great Millstone who told me this truth. Shalom, Labakarium, Shah, Yasha Allah. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.